Eighty years ago, the world held its breath as the largest amphibious operation in the history of mankind began to unfold. The colossal invasion force of the Allied armies has assembled in southern England and it anxiously awaits permission from the weather to board their craft and cross the English Channel. Navies of eight different nations rallied with nearly 7,000 ships of all types and they would undertake the mammoth task of transporting the Allied armies to France, awaiting them on the other side, Fortress Europe, and one of the most incredible achievements in military history, the D-Day landings on the Normandy beaches in the early morning of June 6, 1944, would mark the beginning of the Allied offensive in Western Europe that took them all the way into Germany. We at World of Warships invite you to join us in remembering the bravery, dedication, and hearts of soldiers storming the beaches and their legendary heroism that has inspired us to create a new temporary event, D-Day. But before we dive in, a small side note. Our developers are constantly working on ironing out the kinks in order to bring you the best gaming experience. For this reason, some of the information presented in this video might be subject to change. With this out of the way, let's continue. World of Warships will honor this incredible period in military history with three brand new event operations inspired by the Normandy landings. Our team has taken real-life stories and lore in stride to help fashion our own imagining of this environment suited for the combat realities of our game. Each operation will last two weeks, include ships tier 5 to 7 and accommodate divisions of up to 6 players, allowing you and your friends to take your part in history as a team. Players which do not have suitable ships in their port to participate in these event operations will be provided with rental ships. During update 13.4, players will test their skills in the first of these epic operations, commanding the naval vanguard of Allied forces on the approach to Utah Beach. Command a battleship, cruiser or destroyer with ship options from UK, USA, Commonwealth, France, Netherlands or some of the ships of European navies. Navigate them to fight through enemy forces towards the coastline, suppressing defenses and ensuring the safe arrival of landing craft. Following Utah operation, there will be another one, this one arriving for two weeks in update 13.5, the defense of the legendary Omaha Beach. The script is flipped now, as you and your friends will command a squad of German destroyers and try and delay the Allied onslaught for as long as possible. You must buy time for your shore fortifications and reinforcements to gear up to full battle readiness while you desperately face off against superior Allied naval power. Set up your minefields, drop your torpedoes and hold fast, captains. The third and final operation takes place at the end of update 13.5 and is a direct continuation of the last, picking up on the Allied side of Omaha Beach in a daring rescue mission. Now you must find and recover several damaged Allied vessels attacked by the very defenses you just enabled. Once you locate the ships and rescue the crews, it will be up to you to secure the optimal landing point for the Allied fleet to begin offloading. Destroy the defenses, prepare the landing spot and give the go-ahead for the fleet to begin in the final stage of the event operations. Players who like operations always have a favorite, an operation they would rate 5 out of 5. Mine is the old Dynamo operation. Well, guess what? We've brought back completion stars for completing extra additional missions. Let's go to the details because these stars mean more rewards. You may remember in previous thematic operations that we would have several difficulty levels to choose from, with each level increasing the difficulty of completing the operation as a whole. For D-Day, we're switching things up. Each of the three unique operations will have only a single difficulty level and finishing the primary objective will not be the hardest part. Instead. Additional missions attached to the operations which yield you stars, presenting entertaining challenges to all levels of World of Warships players. Earning stars for completing additional operation tasks will make progress for a special rewards track in the port, so completing operations with maximum stars will be critical for picking up the goodies quickly. There are three parts to the reward track, with each one unlocking as each new operation becomes available. If you manage to complete all available levels, you will receive recurring extra level rewards until the next part of the track opens. The rewards for the three main tracks include some brand new content like historical commanders Robert Chujar and William Tennant, as well as new permanent camouflages, force of liberation and invasion stripes for Jervis and Baltimore. We even snuck in several days of Warships premium account. 
from the recurring extra level rewards, players can earn more signals and D-Day containers. D-Day containers are special to the event and can drop a premium ship from British, European or French navies, including the brand new vessels Rodney, Montcalm and Orion 44. This event wouldn't be complete without a brand new special port Tionar D-Day. So select the D-Day battle type to check out what we've cooked up for you. Now let's talk about something new. Intelligence, a special event mechanic we've introduced to boost your effectiveness in these operations. We told you that earning extra stars wouldn't be easy, and that's where intelligence comes to the rescue. Intelligence will function as a special in-game items that players can activate against certain groups of enemies for additional bonuses. Each will have three levels called Confidential, Secret and Top Secret, and each level grants an additional bonus to the card on top of the original. The more exclusive the intelligence, the more powerful the effect. Here's an example. Intelligence specialized in coastal defense will increase your armor penetration against structures at confidential, reduce the chance of being set on fire by them at secret, and increase player accuracy against them with top secret level. A card against torpedo destroyers will increase your gun accuracy when firing at them at confidential level, while reducing the damage taken from their torpedoes and increasing their damage taken from your shells at secret and top secret levels, respectively. We should remind you that intelligence modifiers only affect yourself and the enemy ships you interact with. They have no ability to assist allies directly and your card bonuses are not shared by your teammates. They must bring their own. Okay, so we've got stronger effects against buildings, damage resistance, more damage for you. I'll take them all, please. There will be a total of 12 unique options to choose from, with 6 available to the Allies and 6 available to the Axis. But players can only bring 3 into battle at a time. You will choose your 3 in port before battle, or even during a short window of time after the operation begins. Mix and match them as you play and see which combinations feel like the most effective ones for each operation. If you panic and cannot figure out which intelligence to bring, we've got you. The game itself will be able to equip you with options that are currently available to you. You will only need to obtain each intelligence option once, to use it in as many battles as you'd like during the event. Everyone starts with one option each, for Axis and Allies, but can obtain more from the reward tracks we mentioned earlier. See, we made it all the way back. A random intelligence option can be earned from the classified documents envelope in the rewards track. And since each option only needs to be received once, the higher level will more likely to drop as you get rewards from more levels. Getting all the rewards will guarantee you access to every single intelligence option available. Then, all you have to do is decide which combination fits your playstyle the best. There is a lot of control offered by what you choose to bring, so prepare your ship for a specific situation and add an extra layer of depth to your game. That's all for now. Good luck, fair winds and following seas.